But I'm white. I think the general idea is that, yeah, everything is fair game when it comes to comedy, but you, it has to be done just right. Sean, we are sitting in the basement of The Big Hunt in Washington, D.C., home of underground comedy. Tell us a little bit about this space and how you brought this show here and why. In 2013, I was a comic here in D.C., and the show that I had been going to closed and... Um, the venue closed down, we didn't have a place to perform, so I was looking for a place just to have a free show on Wednesday night. I knew of The Big Hunt, and I didn't realize it had a basement like this. Um, and so when I saw the basement, I, I went and talked to the owners, and we started a free show on Wednesday nights, and uh, that was really all I intended it to be, but it, um, it gradually expanded. As it got more popular, they asked us to add more shows. Then we started bringing headliners in from New York and Los Angeles mm -hmm. and charging for the shows. Um, now we're up to nine shows a week. And how many comedians are actually featured during the show? Uh, is there, or are there comedians who have their slot, you know, every week, or is there a rotating cast of characters? Well, we have um, maybe about 150 spots that are free spots um, for shows that are free, uh, where comics are doing five minutes, and we book from a pool of maybe about 60 comedians, and then we also on the weekend have shows that are ticketed. Um, where the comedians are being paid, and then that's booked out of a smaller pool of local comedians, and then also a pool of New York and Los Angeles comedians. Who are some of the folks, the big name folks, that have made their way to this stage? Um, Michael Che did a bunch of shows here when he was preparing to film his special, his, his Netflix special, which you, you can see now. Um, he worked those jokes out the week before the special in here um, for six shows. For anyone who's looking to get their start in comedy, what tips would you give for any up-and-coming comedians, someone who wants to make their way to the stage? If you've never done comedy and you're interested in doing it, I would recommend going to some local shows, see what it's like, see what it's like on, a, on the amateur level, um, as opposed to, I mean, it's good to go to comedy clubs too and see the great comics, but it's very helpful to see young comics performing who, who don't really know fully what they're doing because it makes it accessible to you. In your opinion, what would you say are the upsides to what you do? And by the same token, what are some of the drawbacks? Well, I'd say the big upside is I don't have a boss. I don't have to go to a job in the morning. Um, and, you know, I can make my own decisions about how I want to run the business. And, and that's amazing to just be able to do things the way I want to do them. Um, it's always been a frustration for me with all the jobs I've ever had. So that's incredible. The downside is it's stressful when uh, everything is uh, riding on you and you're the one who's making every decision. Uh, there's lots of them to be made and, uh, you know, uh, there's just lots of uncertainty in, in running your own business. So it's very challenging, it's very tiring and stressful, um, but it's exciting and an opportunity that I, I wasn't necessarily expecting to have. So it's, it's great that it, did, it came along.